University of Tennessee's College of Veterinary Medicine's Nutrition Service Program is hosting a clinical trial dealing with obesity in cats. We have Dr. Angela Rollins, a veterinary nutritionist at University of Tennessee College of Veterinary Medicine. And we appreciate you coming in today and you have Stubbs the cat with you. And Stubbs has struggled with weight yes. and is actually participating in the study right now. Tell us more about Stubbs and, and what's going on with the study. Yeah, so we're looking at a study to try to help cats lose weight when they live in cat um, households with other cats. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to get these kind of multi-cat households to really achieve good weight loss. And Stubbs is a participant in our study. He's already lost about a pound. Um, so yeah, we're looking for more people to join us in this study and let us help with their obese cats. First question, how do you know if your cat's obese? Yeah, so a cat normally, if you look at your cat from above, they should have an hourglass to their waist. Right behind the ribs, it should indent just a little bit if you're looking straight ahead. Now, if you see your cat from above and they're straight, or they have kind of a bulging area past their ribs, that's a sign that they're overweight. One of the things you use in the study is uh, this feeder here. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this is an automated feeder, and the point of the study is to see if these feeders maybe make it easier to help cats lose weight. Mm -hmm. So this feeder, um, it is gonna be portion controlling the food for you. It also keeps other cats from being able to eat out of the same feeder as the cat in the study. So it's, it's gonna help us have multiple cats being fed from the feeders and not interfering with each other. Now we know in humans, obesity is linked to a lot of illnesses. What are common problems associated with obesity in cats? Yeah, we'll see things like type two diabetes in cats. We'll also see joint pain, um, mobility issues. They can have skin and coat problems too from obesity. So there's a lot of different issues that can happen. Now you have Stubbs participating in the clinical trial. Are you looking for other participants and what type of cat would qualify and how can people register? Yes, we are looking for other cats to participate. We're looking for adult cats that are between the ages of one to 10. They need to eat primarily dry food as their current diet. They need to be indoor only. They need to live in a household with other cats and they need to be healthy enough to be able to eat a weight loss diet and not have any other major medical issues. Okay, and just contact UT Vet School if they're interested? Yes, absolutely. All right, Dr. Angela Rollins, thank you so much for coming on thank and you. bringing Stubbs. And Stubbs, congratulations, 10% so far with the weight loss. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. We thank appreciate you. it.